Wow, the half shot in golf. It strikes fear into many of us. And I bet that 50 yard shot strikes fear into you. Let's think of a scenario. You probably played a par five out of your skin. You're then close to the green, you end up duffing it, fatting it, thinning it. None of that is any good for lowering our scores. So by the end of today's video, you are gonna have this shot mastered, nice simple technique that allows you to hit the green every single time, stress free. Let's get into today's video. Right, many of you may think the first lesson of today is gonna be club selection. Well, this is gonna be the last. I am personally gonna show you at the end how you work out what club is best for you to choose. First off, we need to talk through setup. This is the first place I wanna start. So ball position, I want you to have it, if you had a stance width of two club head widths apart, I want you to have that ball position on the back club head, okay? So one club head, two club head, on the back club head. Now let's talk about how we hold this golf club because this is vitally important. Many of us would just grip this club towards the top, just like this here. Now that might be fine. You might feel comfortable about that, but you think this, right? We're looking for control. We're looking for accuracy. We're not looking for speed and distance. So would it make sense just gripping down on that golf club slightly? So I think about it nice and simply. Can I make an even amount of grip at the top and at the bottom of my golf club. So I would hold it in this position just here, and you can nicely see an even amount of grip at the top and the bottom. Now we've got our ball position and grip, we can move on to aiming this, right? Probably a big part. Okay, so first things first, let's establish your ball to target line. And I'm gonna have that as my blue. So that's that target. Hopefully, where that ball is going to end up right next to this flag by the end of the video. I'll place my club down, get my ball position, and start everything running parallel. So what I mean by everything is my feet, my hips, and my shoulders, okay? So everything running parallel, taking my grip. I'm now wanting you to keep your upper half, so anything above your belt line, parallel to that blue. But... Can we just pull our left foot back, okay? And our hips open down that yellow. So this just simply helps us get through that golf ball a little bit better. Our hips are already cleared. Think about the long swing. We have a bit more momentum, we have a bit more time. We don't have that time, so mastering a short shot is all about mastering your setup. So we've now got our ball position, we've now got our shoulders and our lower half. I want you to use this as your last key of the setup. Weight goes left and let the hands go slightly ahead of the golf ball. You can see here, if I draw a straight line down from my hands, they're just target side of the golf ball. I'm now in a perfect position to strike this ball away. You know what? In fact, let's strike one. That is the strike we are after. We now have to get into the technique required. This is moving on to the final part of the video. Thank you to everybody who entered the giveaway. We do have another one coming up around, well, closer to Christmas as well. Also, tomorrow we have our power shift video and that's gonna be coming up at the same time. So the technique I want you to use is this. My L shape swing. So my L-shaped swing is just this. This position right here. So you can use this L-shaped swing with every single one of your wedges. Now there's a very important factor. When you're making this L-shaped swing, let's keep a little bit of weight on your left side, so 60-40 address. Let's keep it 60-40 through the whole motion. Also the pace of delivery. So I, I love this because it's a simple analogy. Think about it this way. We want to have probably what I would class as a moderate to slow 
pace to our swing. So I'm still accelerating into the ball. But if I swing this club back further, it swings through faster. So we're going roughly halfway. So it's gonna swing through a little bit slower. So if I'm making my L shape right now, I'd be going back L shape and matching it the same on the way through. Now, there are some very important things I want you to do. This is all about you now. Well, this has been about you the whole video, but you're gonna to have to do a little bit of homework. So my challenge for you, and this is something if you want to master this shot, I want you to use this L-shaped position with every single one of your wedges down at the range, five golf balls with each, and let's see which one comes out on top. Which one is the easiest one for you to hit 50 yards? So you're letting the distance give it you and that position give it you, rather than swinging, slowing, trying to find that 50 yard shot. So hit five balls with every single one of your wedges at the range and see where they land in relation to that 50 yard marker. I'm gonna personally go through this process with you now, but I'm just gonna hit one, okay? So I'm asking you to go and hit five with every single one of your wedges to see which one comes out top. So you make a natural 50 yard shot, not one that's like mechanical, awkward, gets the old heart racing. <laughs> we don't want any of that. So 50 yard shot, I've got my grip, I've got my setup, weight on my left, first club is my 58. So that one's gone. What distance has that one ended up? So we're looking at the carry numbers. That's finished 42.4. Let's now go with these other two wedges. So I'm thinking right now, based on what I've just hit, 54 could be on top. Let's go 54, L-shaped swing. Okay, here we go. Second ball, L-shaped swing, same swing, same setup, different club. That's just so easy to hit that. Now look how much little further that one's just gone. 50.4. So 42, 50.4. I'm using the same swing. All I'm doing is changing my club. Final one, my 50 degree. So I'm guessing based on this, this will probably go like 55, 60. Same pace, same shot, just that little bit further. So that one's probably gone 55, 54.2. So not only are you working out what your 50 yard shot is, you're also getting a great idea on what other positions, on what all your other clubs go. So there you go. You've got the setup, you've got all the ability now, you've got the know-how, go and master that 50 yard shot. It's gonna take a little bit of work down the range, but that's golf, right? That is golf. All these things do take a bit of time, but this is what I want you to do, enjoy.